thing about documenting sessions and credits for a session because so many people will get a session to mix and they have like 40 vocal tracks and they never say use this one you know and there's no documentation that's going on so one of the things is you can actually come here and you can have different components of the mixer that you can enable or disable from view so if I don't want to see the control room I could just filter it out from view but I could also have notepad, notepad. Nice. so now nice. I could just come here and just say okay this was blah, 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 blah. this was my bass was oh. SVT mic nice. with awesome. RE20 nice. very helpful alright or I use this synth but let's say you did something like, you know, okay, uh, we recorded this guitar amp and the guy really tweaked all the knobs. Uh, we could come here, you could put a picture in with each mixer, and coincidentally they're all Yamaha instruments somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but what's cool is you can also have user pictures. You can say, this is what the guitar was actually looked like and how we mic'd it. This is kind of what the singer's mic setup looked like. So you can actually come here, have a user picture, and assign that directly to the mixer. And that way you can actually have that stored within the session. Uh, and if you need to hand off all the notepad information, we thought it'd be cool if you could come here and export the notepad nice. data as a standard text nice. file. Why do we do that? Because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That's cool.